Yeah, well, when I was growing up in the mill, look, the pit, top of the pit, that was two kids later, we never had electric, no television. Uh, if it was fine, we went out to play in daylight, or some nights we went and played out at night. Played out. But at night time, the old pit was our play area, because it was all lit up. Run round, hide your one thing that. It, it was a good playground. During the holidays, no, we knew what time of day it was, because we used to listen to the hooter. On a Sunday, the hooter would go about quarter to seven, because he had a few men down there on a Sunday. The canteen, canteen well, had to be open seven days a week. And there was a few women popped down and opened it up. And we used to go up, and that's, you used to go up there, and for, for six months you'd get about, say, two ice cream. That was a big thing to have two ice cream on a Sunday night. But the hooter was our clock. We, we never had no watches, anything like that. But the hooter was our clock. And the top of the old pit was our play area. But as I said, at nights you could look out, you would see the men walking up, up or coming down. Or when we was in the mill, if we sat in there, you could always hear a man going by the side of the house because of his boots. Because some of them used to walk from Roaring Woodside. You'd hear them coming down, you these boots going on. That's what it was. Or they'd walk to the Pleds, or they'd walk up to Orsley and things like that.